my phone thing just fell out of my cradle. <sighs> what in the heck just happened? Fell out and I touched it and started the video. I was not ready for that yet. It's fine though. It's fine. Hello, hello, hello. I know it's super late. Um, keto grocery haul. I, um, I train on Wednesday nights. And so normally Wednesdays are, um, are from, um, they're just crazy busy. That's all. I get ready for the training. Like I want to make sure it's a really good training for our team. And so I spend a lot of time doing that. Um, so then I come to you guys a little later than you I would like to, but that's totally fine. So as you guys hop on, say hey in the comments, let me know where you are coming in from. <sighs> Y'all, I still have not wrapped any presents. <laughs> they are shoved in the attic. <laughs> so that's fun. But it's getting done tonight after the littlest one goes to bed. He's just, you know, he's at that stage where he literally does not want to leave us like for even a moment. Um, so it makes it a little bit tougher to uh, get stuff done that he can't see. Anyway, so uh, Costco grocery haul, it was a little bit sporadic. I don't even know if that's the word to use. Um, sporadic as in I have not gone grocery shopping really for the last two weeks. We've just been, um, living out of our refrigerator and our freezer kind of just, uh, using up stuff. So this week was kind of, a uh, fill in the stuff and get stuff for Christmas dinner. We have thanks, we have a Thanksgiving. We have a turkey already on thawed in the refrigerator. Uh, Logan is in charge of that again. He did it for Thanksgiving, so he's super excited. He brined it and everything. Now it's doing the whole drying out thing in the fridge. I don't even know. Um, <clears throat> love my gift bags. What's a gift bag? Anyway, so, Oh, love your gift bags for wrapping. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I'm a little slow on the uptake. Anyway, so I will go over. Some of this stuff may not be completely keto. Like Ricky wanted pineapple. So he got a couple cans of pineapple. Um, so yeah, we'll just get started. So, um... I got a bunch more cream cheese because I do, even though Christmas is in like two days, I still plan on giving you guys all of those treats that you guys have been wanting. So totally fine. So I stocked up on some more cream cheese. Plus it's on sale right now. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six. Oh, she does not look happy. Six packages of, um, Gabby has not had a good day at work. <laughs> Anyway, six packages of cream cheese. I did grab some of these bangs. Um, just for something else to drink other than water or uh, my PTKs. So we got a couple different ones. I got Star Blast and Lemon Drop. I don't know. Ricky thought that they looked good, so we got them. And we have to make Christmas cookies for Santa tomorrow. So we got some food coloring for all of the different, um, for all the different sugar cookie, uh, frostings that I have to make for Noah so he can, so he can do his cookies for Santa. So I got some food coloring cause I think I'm out. So got that. We did get stuff to make, um, green bean casserole so we got I should have opened all this stuff first um last time I made it I made it with the french cut green beans and I really liked those and so I got some more of those to do the green bean casserole with this time 
freaking furnace on it. Cold in the house. <laughs> um. Anyways. <laughs> so I got six cans of green beans and a can of cream and mushroom soup for green bean casserole. And then, of course, the French fried onions. If you're um, clean keto or you're strict keto, obviously, you're going to want to stay away from this. You're going to use more um, onion powder. And um, you can do pork rinds on top to make that to make that crust, to give it that crunch. Um, and you don't have to use canned cream of mushroom soup. You can just make your own. However... The kids like it the way I used to make it, so I make it for them twice a year, Thanksgiving and Christmas, and it's okay. Christy, she said, um, tell dad to turn on the furnace because it's cold in the house. So um, our furnace pretty much stays off 24-7 year round because you turn it on even at like 60 degrees in the house. And it fries our bedrooms, which are upstairs. <laughs> and um, so we just leave it off all the time. Even with it being off, though, it still blows air. <laughs> so it's like, what in the world? Um, so if we're downstairs, we just turn on the, the gas fireplace and it heats downstairs. And then the heat rises anyway. But she likes to keep her bedroom door shut. So her bedroom door is really, really cold. And she keeps her window open. So it's kind of a personal problem. Forgot the French onions, thanks for the reminder. My pleasure. You should try it with mozzarella cheese and mushrooms too. The, um, the green bean casserole. My fan, okay, so little tidbit of information. She always looks perturbed. She's 16. <laughs> That's Gabby's face. She has resting bee face so bad. Like, woo, she has got it bad. Um, so, funny fact. Really, nobody else in the family likes mushrooms except for me. And I literally put mushrooms in practically everything because I like them. So, I've made it a rule. You don't like mushrooms, you can just pick it out. It's fine. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, I did get, speaking of mushrooms, I did get mushrooms because y'all, I literally put it in everything. Like, seriously, <laughs> I love mushrooms. I even got it on my steak, um, tonight, mushrooms on my steak. Anyway, so we got some broccoli. Um, I don't know if we're going to do, um, spaghetti or not spaghetti, um, Alfredo with broccoli instead of noodles. Or if we're going to do this, this with um, like a chicken bacon ranch situation and have this as a steamed side, I haven't decided yet. I've totally not shopped for Christmas dinner. We didn't either until today and I was like, um, we probably should go shopping. It's amazing in the green bean casserole. I'll have to try it. I love mushrooms. Everybody else, not so much. All right. Um, we were almost out of Parmesan cheese and instead of getting, this is where being cognizant of the price tags comes in handy. So if you go into a store and you see a sales price, right? And you think, oh, I'm going to get the sales price because it's cheaper. Please, for the love of God, check the cost per ounce or the cost per pound or Whatever the cost breakdown is, it's funny if you get cheese, if you get the store cheese, it's normally per pound price, but if you get the prepackaged cheese, they put it by per ounce price. So you have to do a little bit of math, get your, get your calculator out on your phone, but always check and see how much you're paying per ounce of something or per pound of something because you're probably over overpaying on that thing that's on sale so this one in particular this one um, they had a bigger jar bigger shaker thing 
which would have been enough for two of these, right? But the cost was double what it was for a smaller one per ounce. So even though it was on sale, I was going to be spending more money. Does that make sense? So double check your per ounce price. Um, on the on the tag it even says it at the bottom what the per ounce price is um, So just double check those because you could be saving a lot of money just by doing that. So That's why I got three instead of one big jar. It's fine So that is grated Parmesan cheese we use that for Alfredo or the kids use it on their pizza or whatever um, Ricky needed some Tabasco sauce. We got Tabasco sauce and yellow mustard French fried onions for the green bean casserole. I got sausage links for Christmas morning so we can have breakfast. They are frozen. And then, um, I got, you can't see it. We were going to do prime rib for Christmas dinner and then Logan's like, no, I wanted to do turkey. So he's doing turkey, but so I don't know if we'll make this tomorrow or if we'll make this like Sunday or something, but we got a prime rib. So I'm super excited about that because it's been a minute since I've had prime rib for dinner. Since all of our all of our um, restaurants are still closed to in-person dining. It's like, eh. <sighs> we weren't going to spend the money either because we saw the ones at Costco were like 150 bucks, But at Winco, it was $30. So I was like, oh, that would be okay. All right. So we got that. I did get some Monterey Jack cheese, so instead of using mozzarella cheese, you can do Monterey Jack cheese uh, because it actually has less carbs, believe it or not. And it tastes the same, I think. Um, I did get a bag of cranberries uh, because I love to, um, I love to make homemade cranberry sauce and then just I actually stick it in a mason jar, one of my canning jars, and keep it in the fridge. And it's delicious. Wrapping gifts over here. Girl, you're ahead of me. I haven't even started. I have never made or had prime rib. Oh, it's so good. My mom and dad, when they owned their restaurant, they used to do a prime rib every Friday night. And they did the big, big, big ones. They would be sold out within just a few hours. It was crazy, but they'd start it early in the morning and slow roast it. <gasps> I'm salivating just thinking about it. You're making your first prime rib tomorrow? Yay! Um, hello, Brussels sprouts, anybody? So I'm super excited about getting Brussels sprouts to go with prime rib too. So. If you've seen me make my Brussels sprouts before, normally you see me saute them with um, onions and butter and bacon. Um, and I cut them up into fourths and then just steam them a little bit and then cook them that way. But this time I am going to steam them and then I'm going to smash them and sprinkle them with a little bit of soy salt and salt and pepper and put them in the oven to get cr crispy. I'm excited about that. How do you cook it? The, um, the prime rib, I normally just give it a really, really good crust. Um, and I, I, um, pan fry it on each side so it gets a really good bark on it. And then I slow roast it in the oven. Our buffet used to go through 32 whole ones on a night. Good night. Whew, that's crazy. Steak, Brussels sprouts, and poppers for our Christmas dinner. Heck yeah. Ooh, that reminds me. I have jalapenos. I have to make jalapeno poppers. Thanks for watching out. Nice. I gotta remember. Um, yeah, my parents just had a restaurant in a really teeny tiny, like, um, we used to call it a retirement town because everybody there was on a fixed income of some sort. And, um, so 
they when they did their or my mom also made handmade hand, handmade homemade um soups from scratch every day and she also did clam chowder on fridays oh my god it was so good that is the one thing I miss from their restaurant, clam chowder and prime rib. <laughs> That's the thing I make her make every time she comes over here. It's so funny. Anyways, so we got some celery sticks. We're going to do stuffed celery and cheese. Oh, we did not get cheese. It'll be stuffed celery and cream cheese. It's fine. We'll pinch it. Um, I got some, look, I got some unsweetened coconut flakes so I can actually make do you rub butter on your prime rib so what I do is what is oh it's got a cut in it crap um I normally pan fry it in butter and herbs and then um I baste it while it's cooking and then it depends on I mean I normally put the butter in with it while it's while it's cooking That was the number one thing we would sell out of. Yeah. Oh, clam chowder or the, or the, yeah, my mom's clam chowder. Oh my gosh. It was so good. Um, so I got some Mexican style shredded cheese. I know, I know I need to shred my own. However, when you go through as much as cheese as we do, sometimes it's just a little much. Okay. So it's totally fine. If you have to pinch hit every once in a while and you have to get shredded cheese, just know you're eating a few more carbs than if you would shred your own cheese. Does that make sense? We had the best chowder and prime rib. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my mom. It was crazy. Um, that and her cinnamon rolls, they were as big as my head. Now, do you all have an insight into why I was over 300 pounds? <laughs> because my mama can cook. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Okay, so um, I did get some Mexican cheese pre-shredded. So don't come throwing any daggers at me. I know that we should be getting um, the blocks of cheese and shredding it ourselves so that we don't get all those hidden carbs. I know that and I factor that in. It's fine. But if you are somebody who wants to be strict, clean keto, um, then definitely you want to, um, you want to get the blocks of cheese and shred it, which is, if you see my stand mixer and see that attachment on it, that's a cheat. Well, it's a shredder, but I use it mostly for blocks of cheese. It's super, super, super fast. Like you can do a whole entire block of cheese in probably like five minutes. It's crazy. Plus, if you're trying to save money, that's a really good money tip as well. Because if you get the blocks of cheese, it makes, it makes like probably twice the amount that you would get in this bag out of a block of cheese. And this bag of cheese costs more than the block does. So you get twice as much cheese for the amount of money. The last thing, or I guess there's two more things. So we got some pepperoni. Noah loves to do pepperoni and cheese sandwiches or just throw them in a salad or, you know, whatever you want to with that. Excuse me. And then um, I got some green bell peppers. Lately, I have been loving the green bell peppers with the um, chicken salad from Costco, the pre-made rotisserie chicken salad um and I've just been cutting these open putting this the chicken salad in here and then putting a little valentina on top super duper delicious it dropped what dropped what dropped I don't know what dropped if I dropped something, the little baby puppy already ate it. Oh, it dropped. Oh, man, Christy, you're making my brain work too hard today. With these holidays, I bought shredded myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I realized, I'm like, what did I drop? I didn't drop anything. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So, if you guys love peppermint mocha... Peppermint Mocha is here. 
So if you guys are looking for a good alternative to Starbucks peppermint mochas, our peppermint mocha cream is here. It has arrived. Anyway, so I'm going to get this stuff put away. My husband has told, has informed me that um, we will be playing some cards because he feels like getting his butt whooped at cribbage tonight. So that's totally fine. I'll, I'll whoop his butt and then I'll make him wrap presents until 3 a.m. It's fine. I can hang. He won't be able to. So anyways, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hopping on. Come and join us again tomorrow. I will. What's tomorrow? Christmas Eve. What else? I still have a list of one, two, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I still have a list of nine more uh, sugar item thingies that you guys want. Like, uh, what was I calling them? Christmas goodies. I still have a uh, list of nine more that you guys would like. So I will definitely um, be getting those done for you. I'm doing a turkey mashed cauliflower. Oh. I did get um, uh, rutabagas. I put rutabagas, they're already in the refrigerator out in the garage. So if you guys like, um, if you guys want to stay keto on um, with it, instead of making mashed potatoes, do rutabagas. Oh my God. They're so good. They are so good. And if you like to do um, meat in the crock pot, like roasts in the crock pot. If you do a roast in the crock pot, I always throw in the little baby carrots and I used to throw in potatoes because the kids loved those. If you skin the peel, the, um, rutabaga, cut it into small chunks and throw it in just like you would a potato. You're not going to know the difference. The only difference is that they're going to be orange when they're cooked. But, oh my God, they're so good. They are so good. So, um, I definitely bought some more rutabagas to do that because so good. And they don't stink like cauliflower does. You know, that smell, even with fresh cauliflower, how, how it kind of has that weird smell to it. The rutabagas have no smell at all. They don't have a weird texture. They work the exact same as a potato. They're hard to cut. Mine weren't hard to cut. What's a rutabaga? Um, hold on, I'll go get one. I'll show you guys. Oh, actually, you know what? They're right here. I lied. They're not in the refrigerator. So it's kind of like a turnip. It's kind of like a turnip, except for turnip is all this color, where a rutabaga is both colors, purple and this color. So you literally just cut this little knobby guy off, right? You cut this little dude off, and then you just, you just peel it just like you would a carrot, and then you cut it up into little chunks, and you can cook it just like you would a potato. The only thing, if you're gonna, if you're gonna boil them like a potato, they take a lot long, I shouldn't say a lot, but they take more time than a potato does, like a regular potato, cause they're harder and they're not as starchy. And so they take a little bit longer to boil. Um, but you guys, game changer, they're amazing. So, Definitely, I don't know why it's blowing it out like that, but definitely grab one from the store and try it out. It's so, so, so good. Add a little bit of heavy whipping cream, add a little bit of salt and pepper and butter. You can thank me later. Or you can literally just cut it up and like I said, I throw it in with the, with the meat in the crock pot for the day and just cut it up and by the end of the day, it soaked up all that broth and everything from the meat. Add a little bit of salt and pepper and some uh, butter and it's delicious. Yes, next time for sure. How are the carbs with them? They're not as high as um, potatoes. I mean, they're, they're right up there with 
cauliflower. So it's pretty much the same. Um, they just don't have as much fiber as the cauliflower does. Does that make sense? But they're so, so, so much better for you. Anyway, so come join me again tomorrow. I hope you guys get all of this stuff done. I hope you guys can get all of your wrapping and all of your last minute Christmas stuff done. And I, if I don't see you guys tomorrow, if you're too busy, I completely understand. But Merry Christmas. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. And, uh, but if you do have time, come join me tomorrow. See you.